Hi everyone, this is Prasad Mujrabali from ENH ICQ Private Limited. In this presentation, we are going to see about the integrating the SailPoint app for Microsoft Teams application. This is the agenda for today's session. We can see the overview prerequisites, SailPoint team integration supported features, SailPoint teams integration configuration process, and how to creating or cancel the access request. Finally, we can see about the advantages of using teams integration. Let us see the introduction about this presentation. SailPoint for Microsoft Teams provide users access to corporate resources anytime. Users are distributed worldwide. The number of applications used are constantly increasing and the lines between who can access these applications and who should access these apps are increasingly getting blurred. SailPoint for Microsoft Teams enables users to get the access they need to stay productive right from within the tool they use the most all while maintaining strict governance and compliance controls in this slide let us see the prerequisites for microsoft teams integration firstly users should have microsoft teams account And second one, for tenant mapping, user need tenant admin level access. For prior tenant mapping, is required to use the reset password feature for the user. We will see the supported features in this slide. User can raise requests via Teams chatbot. We can get the notification about the ticket status. We'll see the comments at the time of approve or deny the request. We can able to cancel the request in the Teams application. Manager can approve or deny the request within the Teams chatbot. Manager can take the decisions for certification campaigns from the tenant application. Let us see the configuration part in this slide. The Teams application need to be installed in the system for the user. Before configuring the SailPoint app, in Microsoft Teams. Firstly, user can log in to the Microsoft Teams application and navigate to the apps. We need to install the SailPoint app by clicking on the 
add button post that navigate to the teams application so there will be an sale point chart board now we can able to perform all the supported features in the application by connecting and mapping to the tenant post tenant configuration you need to request for roles and applications we have to request for any of the application roles or entitlements then request will goes to the manager for an approval so this scenario will see more in the demo session in the upcoming slides we can see the in detail features how it is works we will see about the installation part of salepoint application firstly user have to log in to the teams application and navigate to the apps button then select the salepoint app and click on the add button once the salepoint app is added then click on open to see the chart board on microsoft teams after installing salepoint app we can see how to connect tenant or tenant mapping in the upcoming slide let us see about tenant mapping in this slide if the user is connecting for first time user have to connect to tenant for that we have tenant mapping we need to paste the tenant url in the tenant mapping and click on the submit button post that user need to select sign in button to navigate to tenant where you have log in to the tenant by using your login credentials once log in to the tenant user can able to request for roles or application or entitlements we will see how to raise a request or how to cancel the request in the next slides let's see how to reset the tenant in in this slide firstly user can select the reset tenant button in the teams application if we click on reset tenant button all all tenant will get disconnected from the setup and post that user again have to connect to the new tenant get the tenant url and paste it in the tenant mapping and click on the submit button after resetting 
the tenant user have to again sign into the tenant in this slide we'll see about how to create or cancel the access request users can sign into the application after that click on the create new request button to see the available applications roles and entitlements that are created in the tenant if the user select the application that will navigate to the tenant page for login post login user have to fill the details for required access once that is done requester have to submit the request after submission requester can see the ticket details in the sale point application requester can able to cancel the request before manager approval only once request raised that will be sent to the respective manager for an approval and manager can take the decision in the sale point app itself we will see about how to reset the password in this slide for resetting the password prior tenant mapping is required to use the reset password feature user have to select the reset password button in the sale point application post that it will navigate to the tenant ui user have to give the user name to navigate to reset password page once it is done user will log in with new password now user password reset done successfully and we will see few of the advantages of using sale point application user can raise request within the teams application rather than raising from the request center manager can take decision within the teams application itself users can reset their tenant passwords in the teams application and so on we will see more in the demo session about teams integration finally this is about the presentation for integrating sale point app for microsoft teams application Thank you